stop moving Don't speak the language You think Don't need explaining I know that in the morning Hi, good morning Good morning, my love, how are you? I'm good, how are you? A friend of mine uh, told me about, you know, Best Works. How are you, Marie? Went for the interview and she told me that, you know, what kind of work it was going to be. I was like, oh, wow. And she said, well, we, we would train you because I was like, oh, on a sewing machine. <laughs> I'm blind. You know, so she said, no, we, we're going to train you. We, you know, so, okay, I'll, hey, I'll give it a try. So the mission of Best Work Industries is to create opportunities for employment for people who are blind and visually impaired. When you enter the plant and walk on the floor, many times it's hard to tell who the sighted employees are and who the employees are who are blind and visually impaired. There's a stigma sometimes when people know that somebody is visually impaired that they automatically see them as less than. If you give a blind person or a visually impaired person the tools that they need, you know, as, as far as accommodating them for the job that they're going to be doing, they can be successful at that job. Their first day there's an orientation and then our safety manager takes them around the building for mobility training so that they know how to get around. There's tracks on the floor for them to follow. We review everything, the, the machine, the parts, what type of stitch it does. Because they don't, don't have sight, they can do things by feeling it. So we add guides for them so that they can work independently and produce quality goods. The organization uh, was formed 40 years ago by James Versaki, a veteran of World War II who was actually blinded in combat. Even though we're a not-for-profit, a 501c3, we operate uh, under what people would consider a typical business model. We're uh, producing uh, textile apparel for the United States Navy, for the Army, and our products are high quality products at competitive prices that are performed by people who actually feel like that's their service to their country. Since my husband passed away, he was a disabled veteran. So for me, it's personal and it's an honor to be here to sew on the production line the uniforms that we do for the military. As we grow into new lines of business that creates different job opportunities for people who are blind other than sewing. We just launched um, a formal fundraising uh, committee. Uh, we are looking at opportunities uh, for major donors to step forward uh, to help fund things such as our site center. Uh, we'll have an adaptive technology center for people to be able to come in and see and learn uh, what aids there are to people with visual impairments. And the return on investment for uh, those contributions is not only do we create uh, opportunities for people who are blind in employment, uh, this helps uh, people who are blind and visually impaired achieve economic independence. I have two daughters, I have a two-year-old and three, uh, three month old Just being able to know that I'm taking care of my children, um, I'm putting food on the table, I'm, I'm, you know, paying bills, that's great. They're hardworking people, strong work ethic, and so having the opportunity to continue to work and provide for their families is very important to them provides them a great deal of satisfaction and it's very rewarding for me to be able to provide them with those opportunities.